Hello friends, Nina here from Nona Nina's Book Club. And today I'm going to share with you a very silly book. It's a silly book about a puppy dog named Walter. And there's something different about Walter. Walter is a special kind of dog. Walter, in our story, is Walter the farting dog. <laughs> so get ready to learn about Walter and his farts. Oh my goodness. This book is written by William Kotzwinkel and Glenn Murray. So you can see on the cover, Walter is already farting and knocking down flowers and people are holding their nose. So let's find out what is the deal with Walter? I just don't know. We're going to have fun finding out. And this book is dedicated. It says for everyone who's ever felt misjudged or misunderstood. That's probably all of us, right? At some time we felt misjudged or misunderstood. So we're gonna find out the story here of Walter the Farting Dog. It's again by William Kotzwinkel and Glenn Murray and illustrated by Audrey Coleman. So I bet Audrey had fun drawing a farting dog, right? So let's find out about Walter and his friends and family. Betty and Billy brought Walter home from the dog pound. So Walter was living in a shelter. Nobody wanted him, said Billy, but we love him, said Betty. Well, he smells awful, said their mother. I think you'd better give him a bath. So there's Walter when he came home with Billy and Betty. Sometimes our puppy dogs do need a bath, don't they? Just like us, we need a bath. Mother walked in and said, so there they were in the bathtub. Oh my goodness. Mother walked in and said, he still smells awful. And that's when they got the first clue. The telltale bubbles in the water. Oh my goodness. He's probably just a little nervous, said mother hopefully. His stomach must be upset. But Walter's stomach was not upset. Walter's stomach was fine. He felt perfectly normal. He just farted a lot. Oh my goodness. He did it when he bathed. He did it when he played with Betty and Billy. Oh my God. He did it when he walked around the house. I guess he's just farting, 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 right? He did it in the dining room. <laughs> He did it in the kitchen, and he did it in his sleep. Wow, that's like 24-7 farting, isn't it, Walter? Now Dad comes in, and he's noticing what's going on as well. So there's Dad. And there's Walter and Billy and Betty playing in their room. Hmm, what's Dad going to say? That dog farts morning, noon, and night, said the father. He can't help it, Daddy, said Betty and Billy. They didn't mind Walter's farts. So what if he farts, Billy said to Betty when they were alone in their room with Walter. <laughs> Betty agreed. Walter agreed too. He sat there looking innocently around, farting. Take him to the vet, said father. Oh my goodness, Walter. So here's Walter when he goes to the veterinarian. <laughs> it says it's the Sweet Creatures Veterinary School. Doctor, I am reading. He has his diploma up. It says he's smart and kind. The Smart and Kind School of Veterinary Medicine. Farting, said the vet, or rectal flatulence, as we say in the medical profession and he prescribed a change in diet. So do you think if Walter eats different food, he might stop farting? We'll have to find out. Oh my goodness, here comes the experimentation. They gave Walter every kind of dog food. That's a lot of kinds of dog food, isn't it? Check it out. Every kind of dog food. They tried him on cat food. They gave him hot dogs, hamburgers, and lettuce and tomato sandwiches. They gave him fried chicken. They gave him rabbit food. 
they made him a vegetarian. No matter what that dog eats, he turns into farts, roared father. Oh my goodness. He tried everything. Still farting, even with cat food. I don't know. Walter got the blame for everybody's farts, too. If Uncle Irv let one slip, he just went and stood near Walter. Then all he had to say was, Walter! And everyone would look at poor Walter. Aw, Walter's getting blamed for all the farts in the house. Poor Walter. He has to go back to the pond, said father. The pound, I'm sorry, my friends. No, daddy, please, please, urged Betty and Billy. Don't send Walter away. He goes tomorrow, said father. They pleaded. Walter farted. It was all over. That night, Betty and Billy cried in their beds and Walter looked at them unhappily. Oh, Walter, said Betty, you've got to stop farting because father is going to send you back to the pound tomorrow, said Billy. I don't think Walter stopped, do you? No, he did not. Walter knew how serious the situation was. He'd never see Betty, Betty and Billy again. He resolved to hold his farts forever. When Betty and Billy fell asleep, he walked down to the kitchen to see if there was anything around to eat. He managed to open the cupboard door with his nose and found the 25 pound bag of low fart dog food. <laughs> oh no, low fart dog biscuits the vet had prescribed for him, which made him fart more. <laughs> Even though he knew they made him fart more, he couldn't resist. He ate the entire bag. Very tasty, said Walter to himself. Fart free biscuits. I guess they were not far free, were they? Not with Walter. And then he went and lay down on the sofa. A gigantic gas bubble began to build inside him. This is going to be trouble, he said to himself nervously. He was afraid of what might happen if he let it go. He thought maybe the house would explode. So he kept it in. It wasn't easy. In fact, it was torture but he had resolved never to fart again. His future depended on it. As he lay there with his tail wrapped tightly between his legs, he heard a noise at the window. Oh no, something's happening. Walter's trying really, really hard to hold in that fart. He watched it slowly open. Oh, the window opened up. A pair of burglars came through. Oh no, that's not good, is it? They drop silently into the kitchen. Watch out for the dog, said one of the burglars. He won't bite, said the other. He's a wimp. Walter might have bitten them, except he was so filled with gas that he could not move. <laughs> they, tried, they tied a rag around his snout so he could not talk could not bark. Okay, whispered the first burglar. Let's clear this place out. They took everything they could get their hands on. Walter wanted to stop them, but he was having unbearable gas pains. He rolled on his back, then waved his paws in the air. He gnashed his teeth. We've got it all, said the second burglar. Let's go. Now they're taking all the things that belong to the family while the family's sleeping. And Walter was very busy holding in that fart. Let's see what happens next. That's when Walter let it fly. It was the worst fart of his life. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> it was the worst fart of his life. It made a tremendous noise and it shot him across the room. A hideous cloud filled the air. The burglars clutched their throats able to breathe. With tears in their eyes, they raced for the window. They tried to grab their bag with all the valuables in it, but their arms were too weak. 
Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's a powerful fart, isn't it? Oh my gosh. They jumped out the window. They ran up the block, choking and gasping for air. Still blinded by Walter's attack, they stepped into the headlights of an approaching police car. <laughs> Walter has him trapped, doesn't he? Hold it right there, said the policeman. Oh my goodness. That fart is following them all the way outside. Now let's see what happened with Walter. Hmm. When father and mother came down in the morning, they found the open window and they saw the bag with their valuables in it. And Walter was sitting beside it. He still had the rag tied around his snout. You'd have to say he looked heroic. Look at him. I think he looks heroic. And mother and father are noticing that their valuables did not get taken after all. He saved the silverware, cried mother. He saved the VCR, cried father. Good dog. Oh my goodness. Walter, you're our dog, even if you fart all the time. Aw. Walter. And so the family learned to live with Walter, the hero dog. And that's the end of our tale. Aw. Happily ever after with a whole lot of farts. Oh, look. No, they have a picture where they all go to a park. It says Walter's Wonder Park. 100% natural gas power. <laughs> I guess Walter has some super duper powerful farts, doesn't he? So I hope you enjoyed this story of Walter. There's actually other stories about Walter that we'll share with you another day on Nona Nina's Book Club. So if you have a dog that farts, keep in mind, Maybe it's annoying, but maybe he's got some good qualities after all. Thank you for joining us today on Nona and Nina's Book Club. Tell your grown-up to subscribe so you don't miss any of our fun stories. Bye-bye now for now from Walter and Nina. Happy reading. <laughs>